Welcome back, family and friends, gamers, and cat lovers. I'm Rod Hunt, one half of Team R2O Tube, and this time I'm back with another Monster Hunter video. This video is special to me because it will be the first of its kind on this channel, and I hope not the last. I do have another one planned with another guest, but I'm even more hopeful that I will have the opportunity to do so many more of these in the future. The other reason this video is special is because not only does it include my sister, but also to shine the spotlight on a different side of the Monster Hunter community, the more casual side of the player base. Why? Well. One of my favorite pastimes here on YouTube is to listen to those who don't hold the same opinions as I do, especially with things I am passionate about, and Monster Hunter is definitely one of them. So if you've ever made a video critical of Monster Hunter, there's a good chance I might have watched it. I enjoy listening to the different perspectives my fellow hunters behold, and when I finish watching the videos, I almost always peruse the comment section, and most assuredly, you can find an extra critical comment of the video that isn't that polite, which sometimes leads to heated debates between viewers. And while I understand that there's nothing wrong with a good debate, a healthy debate between those that are equally passionate about the same thing, I'm always baffled in how at times they devolve into personal insults. And I know it's the internet, people love to troll others and others to take it with a grain of salt. But why this baffles me is because normally when you find someone who shares an interest in the same hobby as you, it's normally like, oh man, you're into that too, oh, you love, oh, dude, let's talk about that time. You know, it gets really excited, right? Really excited times. And that's what I'm hoping to achieve with this video and the ones to come, to give every hunter a voice, right? Because some of us, sure, we're the hardcore, put thousands of hours into a game versus the casual guys who just play for fun. Right, so we can all see how each hunter views the game and how they have come to enjoy it, so that we can enjoy the perspective of others. In this video, I only pose 12 questions, but if there are any questions you'd like to see asked in future videos, please post them in the comment section. And with that said, let's jump into this interview. So I grew up playing video games with my brothers, you being one of them. Um, I used to play like Mario and all those type of like family fun games. Um, I did play a little bit of other like fighting games and like um, Final Fantasy. I played those growing up and then I kind of stopped for a little bit and my teenage years and then I started again into my 20s and then took another break and then now playing Monster Hunter which is probably the only game I play right now. So you would have, what was your favorite video game experience on all of those? Like, like as a game? Yeah of all those games that you remember playing what would you say is your favorite? My favorite game was probably Mario Party and Mario Kart. And what, out, of, out of, like, oh, I remember those days, but so out of, like, Mario Party, Mario Kart, what was, I mean, would you say, like, you pursue video games as an active hobby, or is this something that's, like, really fun? Are you, like, do you, like, read magazines? And, no, I don't um, read any magazines. It's really just mainly for fun. Um, I enjoyed it growing up, because it was something fun to do with my brothers yeah. um, and, and family, especially when we got together with our cousins, and we used to play all together. Uh, but yeah, no, I just do this as fun. I don't. Would you consider do... yourself a hardcore gamer? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> okay. 
so my brother, you, um, have been asking me for, I don't know how long, you could probably know how long you've been asking me for a couple of years. So you got my husband, Sean, into it, and then, um, I don't know, even know how long after that, a couple of years after that, that's when um, I got into Monster Hunter. And have you been enjoying it? Yes, I enjoy playing it and beating up on monsters. <laughs> So my favorite open is the sword, but I can't really call it my favorite because I haven't really played with anything else. So I don't know what other we other weapons are like, but I do like playing with the sword mainly because I like the way it looks. Okay, and I was gonna say, uh, so since you haven't tried anything else, but you like the long sword for the way it looks, what would you think about trying next if you did? Um, the the gun. The gun. Which one, yeah. heavy or light? Oh, I don't know. I don't know the difference between the two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My uh, guess is light, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, the light's what Rika uses. Okay. Um, beating up on monsters and getting new um, uh, outer armor layer stuff okay. yeah yeah there's a lot more to get um that you can't change the way your character looks all the time like i want to change her hair color and i want to change like i don't know her just anything about her i can't change it it's just you mean the actual looks yes oh, okay okay you can change the hair, I think, the hair color, I think. Not the hair color, like the what the hair, hair looks like. It's in pigtails right now. You can change that. You can? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought you couldn't change that. So you can't change that. So now that we know that you can change that, what would now be your least favorite thing? I'll have to show you that later. Um, what is my least favorite thing other than that? Um, I'm not sure. I guess it's more about myself that I'm not experienced enough in like doing all the different c combinations mm. and doing getting your sword to build up faster mm -hmm. like i'm not good at that and for as long as my husband and i find it enjoyable doing it together um i know you say that there's always things to do but i already start feeling okay what else can i do gotcha. what else can i do so i really hope that they come out with more on the PS4 or 5 because gotcha. then I would keep going. Gotcha. As long as I don't have to buy another system. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to buy another system because then I'd have to buy two and yeah. I don't want to do that. Right, 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 totally good. <laughs> That is a hard one. Um, make it easier to get all those outer armor stuff. I feel like it's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I want I want all the different designs and I want them now. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes forever. I really don't know what to compare it to just because I don't feel like I played too much like Monster Hunter other than like the Star Wars game where you ran around and shot the people but not monsters. So I guess that's the only thing I would compare it to. Yeah, so you have, you have like again back to the casual gamer thing, you don't have like, it's not like you played a bunch of action adventure type games, right? No, uh, nope. Probably with, the most action adventure you probably played was like what, Final Fantasy X2? Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. I liked those games a lot. Of course, I would recommend it to anyone who even just likes video games a little bit. Oh 
gosh, I don't know. Represents me? I don't know. That's a really hard question. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't figured it out either. I, mean, I, I was thinking about doing a video about that too, and I don't know how to answer it. Yeah. yeah. A flying monster, for a, sure. A flying one? Yeah. Just because I like the flying ones. Yeah. So as much as they scare me, all of the, um, all the dragons, I'd huh. be a dragon. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's Yay. all the questions. So is there anything you want to tell to the Monster Hunter community? Not everybody is crazy about it. And be nice to people. <laughs> 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 all right.